Hello YouTube, I'm um, here with the Mystery NASCAR Diecast unboxing. Um, I got some awesome, awesome new cars today. I just got in the mail like 30 minutes ago. So I popped open the box just now. I'm going to make an unboxing video. Um, reviews to come on all of them, but two. So be ready for some reviews. So just have the box and whatnot. So yeah. What we're gonna do is, no, we'll just, um, yeah, so we'll just kind of dig in here, see what we got. Holy crap, alright, alright, and you can probably tell what all of them are gonna be now. First one. It's Tony Stewart's um, Wild Turkey car, All-Star Race car. Next one is really cool. It's Casey Kane's Starlington car, the Rockwell. I don't know what Rockwell is, but. Rockwell. Next one is really, really cool. Kevin Harvick's number Kevin Harvick's number twenty nine Budweiser NASCAR. Nah. See Budweiser NASCAR Unites car. Really nice car. I haven't quite gotten off the base yet. So, um, really cool car. Next up, um, one really cool that I barely got before it sold out was, uh, David Reagan's. Yeah, da yeah, David Reagan. I got the name confused for a second. David Reagan's number 34. Um, Barrett Jackson, Ford Fusion for Front Row Motorsports. I'm glad they made this car. Nice detail. Everyone, plain car, but you know, looks nice. Uh, Alright, eight cars in total, so. I'll take the next one out here. Oh, there's one. Next up is Kyle Bush's number 18. Snickers peanut butter squared car. Snickers peanut butter squared. A really cool car. I really like this one a lot. Reviews to come on it. Sorry, I just lined them up here. Next one, we're digging in there even farther. The number 51, Kurt Busch Phoenix Racing. I was, I didn't get around to get it before it sold out, so I said, why not just grab this one? Because it's really cool, and I have already so many Kurt Busch Customs. Figured getting the real car couldn't hurt. It's a really cool car. I'm glad that I ended up getting it. I'm glad that they made it. Next up. This is a problem with this car. I don't know if you can hear that, but the car is loose, like the chassis is like broken. This one, so we're gonna send them an email, see if we can get a new one. Nice, some oh, summer salute. My bad. That's very nice. They're missing a star. Um, also on the Kevin Harvick car, missing a star too. So I think it's supposed to be like that. Really cool car. Uh, also, same as the Kurt Busch. I didn't around to, I didn't get around to get, um. Picking up before it got sold out, so I just decided to um, pick it up. Um, so why not? And it's the last car and my favorite one, the Jeff Gordon 2012 Pepsi Max NASCAR Unites paint scheme. Now this car is cool. Look at the blue faded bottom. So focus. 
I think it's trying to focus, but it can't. Alright, so, yeah, there's a better view of the car. Really, really cool car. I love this one. I've been waiting all the... A long time f to get this one, because I saw it at Daytona, and I really liked it. So, just a quick overview. Eight cars total, so it would focus. There we go. All Turkey, Rockwell, Budweiser, Unites, uh, Barrett Jackson, Snickers, Peanut Butter Squared, Phoenix Racing, Kingsford Summer Salute, and Jeff Gordon's Pepsi Max it now. So, I'm doing a review on all of them, except for the 51 and the 47, because a lot of people have already reviewed them, like some of the best, like Soup Junior 48 and Race Day 2011. They already reviewed them, so I'm not even going to bother trying to put up a competition. I will be reviewing the 24, the 18, the 34, the 29, the 5, and the 14. Um, I know I'm not going to be able to upload six NASCAR diecast reviews before anyone else would get the car and make a review of it. So I'm, pro I'm definitely doing Jeff Gordon and the uh, David Reagan one, definitely, and also Kevin Harvick. So these three cars right there I'm definitely doing a review on. But I don't know, if they didn't do those other ones, then I might do reviews. So, this has been NASCAR Diecast Unboxing, number two, I believe. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.